Kung Cassio Seifel TV. What the hell are you motion. doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Mush? Video on you, video on me. Go on then, Mush. How are you, Bill? Yeah, not too bad, are you? Can you turn that off, mate? You've got rights here, media rights. Are you uh, camera shy? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Why, why, why do you not like me videoing you then? Because well, I'm videoing you at the moment, aren't I? Is it off putting? A little bit. You should be more professional then. Or professional like you? 100%. You're not very professional, though, are you? Yeah, good. Fully squatted up here. Fully squatted up. Got the team here, mate. And I got the team. Got the team here. Um, Ross, you please. This is for the full version. The full version of the world title. Were you confident that was always going to be the case? Yep. My uh, my management um, and Frank Ron reassured me. Said, look, we do all we can to make it. Uh, there's obviously been a minor miscommunication along the lines here somewhere. Uh, we get on the uh, on the deal right away and saw it. I believed in them and trusted in them, and here we are. I've got to say, from the situation you were in about six, seven months ago to where you are now, better off, I potentially. Well, you're going to be a two weight world champion. Your home place of Stevenage, in front of your own fans. My own, place, my own place. My own place is Atfield. Here's the man here. Here's the man behind all the success. Mr. Hey, Frank. Running you down here on this interview. That's it. Oh, he's, uh, he's no, there for what's, it, that football, what's that football's manager when it went viral when he was walking towards the camera? What happened? Frank, what happened? What happened? What happened? Dude, what's his name? Who? Did you not see it when it went viral? The football manager when he went walking in front of the camera and it went viral like he was doing something. Frank, do you know what he's talking about? Uh, he's talking about yeah, the but, football manager when he went right when he went, <laughs> when he went wallop and give him Oh, money. yeah, look at that. He could still do it, couldn't he? he Charity could, match. That's it, 100%. He'd get it on there, get it on. Yeah, so it's all good. Listen, like I say, reassured, reassured it was happening, and uh, it's on, isn't it? It's on. So, look, I was obviously um, six months ago. They said sign up in this situation. I said yeah, but every interview I've done, I've always said I want to be world champion in my first fight back. I don't care how long I've had it. I want to be chucked in the deep end or whatever end I got to be chucked. I want the world title, and that's what I've got. Is this what you are now, super middleweight, or not necessarily? <coughs> it all depends, you know. Um, Obviously, that you know, I can still make middleweight, but I've always, I've always struggled for the big fights, and you know, people can say what they want about me, but I've signed the contract for Golovkin twice, Canelo, Eubank, all that middle. And, you know, I don't know if it's I was a banana skin for them, or they're thinking their own head. You know, we don't need that wrong for us boxer, mover, southpaw. We don't really need him. He's bad for business. Um, low reward, high risk sort of thing. Do you feel like you're the sort of fighter that needs a world title to get people to fight you? You seem like an unnecessary risk to people. No, listen, I just, I just feel that, you know, at super middleweight, you've got the likes of, uh, you know, you've got the likes of Durrell, Plant, uh, Callum Smith. Smith. You know, all of them, I reckon, they're game to fight. All of them's game. So, you know, I've moved up, I moved up away to find the game then because at the 160, they're not so game. How realistic is the Callum Smith fight if you come through Saturday? Listen, I'll leave that to my management, MTK. Um, I'll leave that to them and obviously Frank Warren Promotions. I'll leave that all to them. I've said I want the fight. Callum stated that he'll have the fight. So I know, you know, you know the Smith bros and all them, they're not the type to turn fights down. Um, he's took big fights before. I know he'll do it again, unification. So, you know, they can be made. They are there to be made, most definitely. What <coughs> kind of crowd are we going to expect here at Stevens on Saturday? Hostile? No, I think, listen, I think it's... You know, I can't really tell you what sort of crowd. I, I, I hope, I hope all behind me and giving me the support I need, really, because you know, Sufi, they're looking at him and saying, uh, you know, that we're not heard much of him, and you know, he's this, he's that, but you know, he's got a good knockout ratio. He can punch, and he's number one with the WBO for a reason. So, obviously, got a deal with him like that. We're getting a listen. A vacant title. We we'll know that you've beaten champions before to win world titles. So, to get a vacant title in your home place. Um, do you look back at kind of the offers that were made to you before and think you made the right decision doing what you're doing? I'm 100%. Look, my team's behind me. I make my, my decisions in my head. I go back to them. They put stuff forward to me. Um, I'm willing to fight anybody in the world, but it's got to be at the right deal. And I'm not saying in the deal with money, in the deal for what's going to benefit me for the future. Um, and, you know, I'm, I, won't, I won't just go there and be a gopher for people and 
you know, slave myself for people. I want to 100% get paid rightly, right, rightly so what I should be getting, and uh, and looked after. I feel that Frank Warren's done that job. Um, so you know, I, uh, I signed a deal with Frank Warren. If you decided to come back down for middleweight, what would be the situation? Would you have to kind of would you slip straight into a mandatory slot well, or well, not? Listen, I've got to win. I've got to win Saturday first, but. Mm. I could win Saturday, slip back down to middleweight and mandatory for the middleweight title again. <coughs> so, you know, there's plenty of options for me. So the Andre fight could still the be Andre there. Fight, so. The Andre fight, hundred percent, and will happen. Will happen. Is that unfinished time. business for you, Demetrius Andre? I feel it's unfinished business for both of us. Look, um, I feel that um, you know his opponents. We boxed the one he boxed last. I beat three years ago. Coming down for 15. That was start. one of your worst performance. That was probably the worst performance and, of your career. And that's probably he's at his t he's at his peak fitness yeah. and did that. And let's face it, it wasn't very impressive. I feel that Eddie Earn knows that Andrade is not what he signed. I feel that, on, to be honest with you, I feel that Andrade now is is not. You know, I'm not saying he's finished. He's a good fighter, but he's not elite. That's for sure. He's not a Billy Joe Saunders. Were you impressed with Canelo over Jacobs or not? Listen, I'm impressed with Canelo period. You've got to give him credit. I'm a very, very fair man and I'll give credit to who deserves credit. He deserves credit for his beat. Um, but, you know, there's still there's still that inside of me that I know I've got the beating of him. Bill, let me ask you about these comments from Deontay Wilder that he made that went everywhere yesterday about him saying, you know, he's basically legally allowed to kill someone and get paid for it at the same time and uh, he's going to use his right to do so. Well, listen, let's, what, let's, what's let's your comments it. on that? Well, well, well first of all, it's a, it's a silly remark to make because you know we've got a lot of deaths in the sport, we've had you know some tragedies in the sport, but he's talking he's talking real, he's talking truth. Whether it's to get in his opponent's head or not, he said it and you know people can have their opinion on him but there's nothing really you can do about it because that's the harsh reality of the game and that's what people need to understand the haters is there more a case of he's telling what can actually happen I as opposed to what he wants to happen listen i don't think he wants to kill no one in the ring he might he might say he might come out of um, emotionally come out of something that he shouldn't have but you know i just feel that um you know he said it obviously for a reason but there's only one heavyweight king and you know he's the king but he hasn't been crowned he should have been Tyson Fury he's number one of them all what do you think about a potential fight with him and Dylan White it's been talked about over the last week I think it's a uh, it's a fight that can be made um, I like Dillian I think he's a good fighter but you know I believe that Tyson is the best heavyweight on the planet I believe he's the best we've had in the last 50 years, 40 years, in my opinion. Is that fight realistic to happen though? I mean, Dylan White's not tied no, spoke, to a promoter. I spoke to, Tyson, moment, so. I spoke to Tyson Fury about the fight uh, the other day. Um, he said to me, look, he said, if they can make it for the WBC diamond and crown me a champion after, he said, I would do it. Why is it important to him to have that diamond belt? Then, did he say? I, think, I just think it's, uh, I think it's another world title. I think that... Um, you know, it shows that he's number one in the division because he's not putting his. He's already won the WBC, rightly. Really, he's won it. He should be WBC champion now, but he got robbed. Couldn't get started. Oh, we're going to get started. The place up. What the fuck's up, Jimmy? What, mate? The Do you want to shout out any of your cousins, any of your brothers, any of your uh, I've relatives? Many. I've got too many. I've got too How many, many got? brothers and sisters and cousins. And they're all going out of each other. Do you want to say congratulations to Billy Ray? Congratulations to Billy Ray and Scarlett. Yeah, new baby. New baby, two girls, third one a boy, eh? Mm. Young guns here, if you want a video of these. Cool. These have mellowed out a bit now, haven't they? Normally they'd be. Want to smash the place up? Mm. You two. How come you're shaking? Shaking, eh? Too, too many drinks. Well, what are you, that, the mic's shaking. Yeah, yeah that's alright. What, what's the matter with it? What's going to happen on Saturday? Try and keep it normal. Um, what's he called, two feet? Yeah. He's going to get beat easy. He's going to get beat easy? He's going to get knocked out? Mm. I don't know. 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 He's going to win now. I know it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight. Sufi's going to lose 100 percent. Million percent. So million, one percent. Million, ten percent. Really, it's going to be a good fight. Wait, what did my dad say about two girls and one boy? I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking no, no, about you there. Said, no. You just said something about me. Yeah. Oh,
Oh, I think we're going to get started now anyway. Oh, yeah. Get, give a shout out. Steve Saunders 5-3. Saunders Village Hotel. Fish on 4-7. Your Instagram account's blocked.